Hi, Superspruce here, back on our answer to mention the minus 4 video, episode 34, and I'm just going to get one thing right off the bat. First, you can see my infinity points, but there's another thing I want to bring to your attention. This is a bug, and I've reported this on the Discord um, today, but it's still, it's quite an annoying bug. So you see, this is 80. I'm, I'm bulking 80 purchases at once. When I reload... and you go back to automation, this goes to one. I have no idea why. It actually seems like a lot of other people are having the same bug as well, so hopefully this gets fixed relatively soon. And yeah, we're just gonna get to the upgrades. You can get this one. I, I could get this one, it's not very exciting to get, and I may not get it just because it's not exciting to get. Instead, I'm gonna get this one, and this one, and this, and this. And, yeah, it, you can see, well, actually, you can't see anything. What I want to do now is, um, or not, not disable this, I want to disable Big Crunch Auto Buyer at the moment. Because what I want to do is I want, actually, I'm also going to disable my Dimension Boost. I want to just get as far as I can, because I feel like with this amount of infinity points, I have gotten the doubler off camera, by the way. Um. But with this amount of infinity points and upgrades, I feel like I'll be able to get farther than ever before. Like, my record is E1563 antimatter, and you can see I'm already up to E1506. And, yeah, E30 galaxy points. So this is going to make it pretty easy to get this upgrade, which is time dimensions boost normal dimensions and 8th dimensions multiply galaxy point gain. I'm not exactly sure by how much, but... Again, this will all be very useful, I think. So, yeah, you can see at the current rate, I'm going to be able to get up to E34 in one day. So, that's going to be pretty nice. Maybe, I, I doubt we're going to reach E1777, but there's always a chance. So, that's, that's what I'm going to go for. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and you can see E1687 antimatter, 9.58 E34 galaxy points. So enough to get this upgrade. Let's see how powerful it is. Um, okay, that's decent. And this um, shot up to E34, which allows me to get as much as like E38 in, in a day. And, well, of course, actually, I have, for whatever reason... Yeah, I, I need I need to automate dimension boosts and tech speed boosts because those are really good. You can see, um, especially the dimension boost. I'm already up. I I, I got up to e seventeen hundred antimatter. So if I can just go go to go to automation, turn this back to to just one, enable it. Same with this, with the tech speed boosts, and I should be at e seventeen seventy seven antimatter because. I was at E17, like, 20, so, yeah, I really should reach it. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, it's been a couple of days, and I have E1817 antimatter. This means I can finally unlock the new dimension. If you know what, if you've played New Game Minus 2, New Game Minus 3, or watched my series, or just played the vanilla game, or watch my new game puzzle plus series, you know what it's going to be. Infinity Dimensions. And as usual, it is you have infinity power, raise the power of seven, translated to this amount of multiplier on all dimensions. So the thing is that this is really OP in the like in the vanilla game. However, the thing is that this is ner is dilation nerfed. In new game in, in the new game minus series, so it isn't as powerful. It still still definitely is a good boost. Like you can see, this one from eighteen fourteen to eighteen sixteen, and I know if I actually let it go for a couple days, like this, the real multiplier could be like many orders of magnitude, and it could also help in help with galaxy points or anything. And I with speaking of galaxy points. Yeah, I'm kind of at an awkward spot. It's close, but not quite to the E40 
which is boost all upgrades in this row based on your galaxy points. And it says 8.54%. So I, I think that would be pretty good to get. And it's probably possible to actually get this. Is there any upgrades I can get? There's two. Uh, this one is almost all of my infinity points. And yeah, it's not worth it to get at this point. Like these upgrades are weak. And even even though it's six times a five times a little more powerful, it's still not worth it to get. This one, however, is going to increase my offline infinity points by 50%. So I will get that. So... There we go. I am deciding to wait even longer. I'm really hoping that it is possible to reach E40 galaxy points so I can get the final galaxy point upgrade. So yeah, that's what the infinity dimensions do. There's not really much else to it. Like you can see, I'm getting 20 infinity power per second. If I wait a day, I can get over E6 infinity power, which that would translate to E56 here, but probably in the real world, that's more like E, I'm not even sure, like E5 or something. It's, dilation nerf is harsh on infinity dimensions. It turns infinity dimensions from like the most OP thing of this part of the game to just another galaxy, uh, just another galaxy point upgrade, basically. So, except this one's also upgradable with infinity points, and there's more dimensions, because I need E2400 antimatter to unlock the next infinity dimension. So, yeah, see you in a bit. Okay, I'm back a day later, and you can see E41 galaxy points, which means I can get this upgrade. Actually, before I do that, I got a couple of achievements. First one was this one, which is... Um, yeah, begin generation of infinity power. Each galaxy upgrade boosts G32 by 1%. I think it's this one. Maybe this one. That one, though, I'm not quite sure. But whatever it is, it's good. It's, it's, it's probably this one. This one seems way more powerful. And, and then there's another achievement. And this is reach E6 infinity power. Reward is that, well, first, each infinity challenge boosts... Um, G32 by 2%, and then also first dimensions are E6 times stronger, which, I mean, yes, that's good, but that's going to make this way harder, because I'm already, I don't think I'm going to be able to get this achievement at this point, if the, the first dimensions are boosted by that much, especially in New Game Minus 4. Like, you can see there's not a lot of, this is E246 versus E230, it's not that much of a difference. Sacrifice is probably doing very, very little. Yeah, you can see here, I think the E56, I, yeah, I miscalculated. It's E42, not E56. But I am up to E1889. So now we're going to get this upgrade. And, okay, whoa. That certainly did a lot because I, I, I see already over E2000 antimatter. I'm just, right now, I'm what I'm doing is I'm just, you know, holding the D key down and okay so you can see I can get all the way up to E2080 antimatter. I was at E1889 before and now you're gonna see well I need to get to the next um I, I, need, I need to get you know uh, I, I was trying to get the multiple tick speed boosts because that's just gonna make it faster but I guess I just have to deal with this I mean, you could see, I should be able to get two tick speed boosts in one here. I guess I'll just deal with it. Deal with it only getting one at a time. I guess I can actually get the, no, I'll get the tick speed boost first. Um, but remember, the individual tick speed boosts are actually very weak. Like, maybe one or two orders of magnitude. I mean, matter. So, yeah, now I have the, I have all of that. The dimension boosts are much more powerful. Honestly, the dimension boosts are more, even more powerful than galaxies. Like that's how, that's how crazy this is. Like each dimension boost is like 50 plus orders of magnitude of antimatter, which is really interesting. Also, it looks like I've just got another galaxy because single dimension boosts are that powerful, apparently. 
and now it's the hunt to try to get the tick speed boost. Okay, I, I'll, I will turn this off because it's just being extremely annoying. It's way better to bulk it like that than to do it individually. See, because even the, that galaxy barely did anything. That, even though that's a galaxy. I mean, okay, galaxy points is definitely higher, but... Yeah. It, it, that just gives you some perspective on how good the dimension boosts are versus everything else. Like, I'm already stalling, even though I feel, I feel like I actually got farther with the with less galaxies. This is why there's no need to have a remote antimatter galaxies. This is also why this upgrade is going to be practically useless. I mean, it was already weak in New Game Minus 3, but even if it was... The new game minus two form of it, galaxies are 70% stronger. It would still be practically useless. Okay, not useless, but it would still would be weaker than average. <laughs> that that would be my description of it. So yeah, making them 10% stronger is gonna do basically nothing. I'm not sure if I should push any further. I mean, I have unlocked the next Infinity Challenge, which is all normal dimension multipliers are disabled except for Infinity Power, but the Galaxy boost on Infinity Power is stronger. Yeah, I just found out this is this is the same as Infinity Challenge 4 in New Game Minus 3. So, it doesn't seem like there's anything new in New Game Minus 4 as far as the Infinity Challenges go. We're going to see another example of OP Dimension Boost going. It's going to get me from E2147 to E2222. It, get, it practically gets me. Like, I'm honestly. It, I feel like I'm on the verge of inflation due to just Dimension Boosts. It's so weird. The, the Dimension Boosts are so overpowered. It. It's so weird. The infinity dimensions are super weak. The galaxies are super weak. It's the dimension boosts that is so OP. And, well, you know, this, I get two dimension boosts from that. Or, maybe not. This, I feel like I just got multiple dimension boosts, yet the second one was not much stronger, stronger than the first. I really wonder why that is. Like, maybe I, I can check here. Um, I can get this... 593 is, um, I can eventually reach that, but then after I reach that, you can see I can get all the way up to the next dimension boost, and then when I get that, I'm actually getting two dimension boosts, and it's doing way less than a single one. I really don't get it, because isn't two dimension boosts supposed to be more powerful than one? This could easily be a bug, just saying, because this is really, really weird. I could actually try to push all the way to E2400 Antimatter. That's actually not all that far. You can see the galaxy point gain is really good. I'm going to be able to reach as far as like 5E45, maybe even E46 galaxy points in a day. And that should help really boost this upgrade and everything. And again, just more dimension boost and everything should help me get all the way up to E2400. I'm, I'm honestly going to try that. And let's see how it's going to go. Maybe even this upgrade will help a little bit. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.